Hey, my name is Sam, and this is Vasu. Say hi, Papa. Hi. We just want to say hey. What's up? Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Currently, it's cold outside, so we are in mood for some hot pot, some yummy, yummy hot pot. It is such a comfort food, especially in cold weather and hot. We are so excited to go to an Asian grocery store, find the products we need, and come home and make some homemade hot pot to come along with us. So I just buckled up Vasco. He is currently in his car seat looking cute as ever. Say hi, puppies. Um, we are going to a grocery called Many More Asian Market or something like that. Um, we have never been there before, so I'm super excited to check it out. My husband went back into the house to grab a jacket or a blanket for baby Vasu. He just put the blanket back on Vasu and he literally fell asleep. This boy is so tired. So the reason why Wasu is so tired during the day is because he is going through his six month sleep regression. But it's also a good thing because he is developmentally changing so much and he's getting bigger and stronger and he's able to do more, say more. And I feel like he wants to be up doing those things instead of sleeping. So that like absolutely sucks as us for parents because we have schoolwork to do, we have things we want to do, especially sleep, and we can't do that because this little boy wants to be up until five o'clock in the morning, and then we barely get any sleep because it's five o'clock in the morning and we need to go to work and do schoolwork and all of that. So that absolutely sucks. We just pulled up to the Asian grocery store, so let's go inside. found the hot pot base. This is the one we're gonna go for. Spicy hot pot soup base. Excited, babe? Yeah. Gonna find some good cheap meat to add into the hot pot. It's honestly crazy how fast things add up. We literally just spent like 90 bucks and like 34 cents or something. And I'm like, what in the world, how? But I'm super excited, but we also didn't just get stuff for Hot Pot. Like we got like extra sauces, some Faraki. I think that's how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce it, babe? Faraki. Um, For rice and stuff. And um, so I got like that added up to it. So it wasn't just for the Hot Pot stuff. But I'm super excited. I um, am also freezing. That store was really, really cold. And I definitely recommend that store to turn up their heat. Yes. But is that blanket yummy? So we just got home. Um, me and my husband are gonna head to the kitchen. Little Wasu is gonna be playing in this little play area. And we are so excited to get cooking. So, okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little shopping haul for you guys about what we got for Hot Pot. Um, my husband is currently trying to figure out how to get the pot cooking. We're gonna make some sushi rice that we already have in the house. So that's gonna be so good, so tasty. But these are the meats that we got. This is hot pot lamb slices. Then we got hot pot pork slices. And then we also got hot pot beef slices. And then for the veggies, we got broccoli. And, oh, sorry, also the other thing we got from meat is like 
some sausage, some imitation lobster balls. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but we got this too. And then um, back to the veggies, we got some fungus, black fungus. And then we got spinach, cilantro, bok choy, and some other type of mushrooms, these tiny little ones. And then for the app, we also got broccoli, as you can tell, so good on rice. We um, discovered that while we were in Hawaii. So good, so tasty. And then for the actual base, we got two of these just in case one wasn't enough. And if one is enough, we have one for next time. We decided to do the spicy hot pot soup base and it has some chilies and stuff inside. So I'm super excited to try that out. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. And then for sauces, we already have some soy sauce at the house. We have some chili oils and all of that already at the house. So we'll use that also along with these. This is the goma sh sh shabu sauce, the goma shabu. And then we got kimchi. It's not really a sauce, but so good. And then we got some spicy mayo. It's actually just called sriracha mayo, which is spicy mayo. So if you want to make some spicy mayo at home, all you got to do is get some mayo, put some sriracha, and stir it up. And ta-da, you got some spicy mayo. So, yes, let's get started. Shout out to my husband. He's currently feeding Vasu a bottle. We're hoping that if we feed him a bottle now, um, when we eat, he'll be quiet and hopefully go to sleep. Well guys, we're about to start eating. I'm super excited. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but we ran into a little problem. This little cooker thing wasn't really boiling the soup base, so we are gonna take our plates and go eat by the stove. Bussin, right babe? Bussin. How's your mouth, babe? It's tingling. <laughs> it so fire? spicy, yeah. But it's good. My husband lied to me. He told me that a fresco will cool down my mouth, and it's not. It's yeah. on fire, and it is buzzing on fire. Like, I cannot kiss Vasu. I think I will literally land him in the ER. <laughs> Guess who woke up from his nap? Baby Vasu. Bless you, sweetheart. Um, he woke up just in time. Me and my husband just finished um, cleaning up the kitchen, heated the dishes, I put the fresh produce back in the refrigerator and separated the meats and put them in the freezer. And honestly, we have like seven bags of meat, like for seven different meals. And for 90 bucks, plus the hot pot meal that was like special meal and so much produce that will probably be like a week and a half. Like, we, I, I think we basically just went grocery shopping and part of it was for Hot Pot. So I think we did salt. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, <gasps> be brave like Fasu! We'll catch you next time.